I'm taking a class in how to build a painting, and so I thought I would share with you what I'm currently learning. So let's get started. So usually when I do a painting, I would paint, say, these peonies, and that would be on a piece of paper, and that would be the end of the story. But what I'm learning to do is build a painting. So I take these peonies and other resources, like that plate and the truffle, and really go around my house looking for different objects. What I'm interested in is collecting different shapes and different colors. Because what I'm going to end up doing is making a collage, so to speak, only instead of cutting out these different images, I'm going to put them on one piece of paper and see if I can create a composition out of it, which is very different than putting a still life in front of you and painting what you see. What I'm doing is painting what I see and, um, and composing as I go along. So remember those peonies that you saw. There they are on the piece of paper and not as carefully done as I usually do because this is a process for me right now. I'm learning how to build a painting. I'm at the very beginning. And, um, and so I'm not, I'm, I, I don't want to start trying too hard to make things perfect. This is a process and processes can be messy. There you can see where I've added the plate, some truffles and some of the makeup. So that would be part of the building. So I build that far and then I have to figure out what to do with the rest. So I do have some pieces of origami paper, which is helpful, because I knew that I wanted to break up those uh, planes on the, uh, on the bigger piece of paper into smaller pieces of paper. And I had a curtain to the right-hand side with that pattern, and that drove me nuts, because I didn't like having that there at all. Um, as you know with watercolor, it's very difficult to go back. You, it's very hard to get rid of stuff, but you can see I lifted it up a little bit and cut that shape a little bit so it wasn't as square as it originally was. The whole idea here is to sort of compose as you're going along and making adjustments, knowing you can always go darker, but you can't go lighter. And there's my finished piece. I'm not saying it's perfect. Of course it's not perfect, but it's a new skill for me and I'm pretty excited about it. And you might want to try a little bit of it too. And I will um, share with you what I learned along the way. Thanks for watching. Please join my YouTube channel. Remember to keep the whites your paper white, your paint's wet, mass for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.